All right, folks. Welcome back to more of the dig by Lucas Arts. I have figured out how to save my game and get to the FX, SFX, and tech speed and all that good stuff. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and display the text just for those of you who are hard of hearing. I do have a lot of elderly that like to watch my video because I myself am elderly. So let's continue on with the dig. Alright, so we're on an alien planet here. The air is good enough to, with oxygen, so we can breathe without our suits. Let's go ahead and move Where right. are you going, Lo? I was going to check for water. Or some way out of here. I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, Lo. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. Yeah, you can just shut up, dickhead. You fucking Nazi. of uh, question marks here. Fantastic! Look! More proof of alien life. Do you think there's anyone or anything alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful. Let's hope. Gone. Either way, let's check out this ship. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust, corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. Well, I don't see any treasure, but there is something in here. When we get back, the engineers are going to have a field day trying to figure out how this works. We might need this wire later. I'm gonna see if I can pull it down. You do that. First, shouldn't you turn the power off of the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. Oh yeah. Huh. Stand back in case something comes down on our heads. Changing shapes, mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer oh, display. 
Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship, it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. It still might be useful. So pick up Did the wire see? and the engraved rod. Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? Yeah, Brink. I do, actually. What was that apparition? Ah, so much to learn and not a single piece of instrumentation. Thanks. All right, we've done everything we can here now, so let's head back to the overhead map. This time we're going to go to the center clearing. Not just plants, but creatures too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. The fuck is that? Marcus. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. Let's dig them up. I can't use these two. Try again. What? Are you just going to dig right in? Fuck With yeah. A shovel? You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero who destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Now get out of the way if you aren't going to help, Brink. This might take a while. Yeah, move, Brink. Before I stick two in the pink. fist in the stink. What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. Says the female. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. We'll take it. What else we got? Jawbone? Take the jawbone, too. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. Got all kinds of weird shit. Let's head back out to the clearing. And go over to this other question mark. To the right. Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? It seems to be pointing at this mound. Nothing but dirt. Hmm. With that device pointing at this mound, I suspect there might be something buried here. How scientific of you, Commander. Another random hole bulldozed by our fearless leader. Maybe not. 
I thought I saw something shining. An artifact? It looks like a bracelet. After that, return to the dais. I can safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? It knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something, or show us something. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive, or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship, and now it's leading us. You mean this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? Or the Port Authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 seconds. Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. If I wanted to give you the creeps, I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. How do you know it isn't a ghost? What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. More holes to dig. I'm the treasure master. I'm gonna see if I can enlarge the hole. I'm the treasure master of Melee Island. Maybe there's something under here. Lucas yeah, likes to maybe dig. something lives down in that hole. <laughs> the utterances of experts. Shut up, Nazi. You Dolph Lundgren looking motherfucker. The ground is soft here. Loose. I think this used to be an opening and over the years wind has filled it up with sand and dirt. Here, let me see. Yes, that's right. You're probably right. That means the ground is treacherous. It could be hollow under there. Commander, I think it's time for an archaeologist to do the digging. I'm used to dealing with drifted soil. The shovel is yours, Brink. Just be careful. The ground's pretty unstable. My feet kept sinking. My whole training is to be careful. Not to charge in with guns blazing. Finally, a good use for my extensive training. Wait for it. Wait for it. Keep waiting. No, it's completely. I can't. No. Ah! I couldn't get to him in time. I couldn't. It happened too fast. What a dumb shit. Can we get down there? How long a drop is it? Looks like the rubble has formed a ramp. Follow me. Here he is. He's not moving. Good. Brink. Boston. One less Nazi. He's dead. I should have been the one digging. Then you'd be the dead one. It was my responsibility to. Brink and I are not children or trained monkeys. We're responsible adults. It could have been any of us, and there's not a thing you could have done to prevent it. But I... to lose Brink, and we've only been up here. Look. You can't keep me safe, and I can't keep you safe. So there's no particular reason for us to stay together. Our odds of getting back to Earth are better if we work separately on figuring this place out. 
I don't like the idea of splitting up. Why? Because we're safer together? Ask Brink about that. Because maybe I won't know what I'm seeing without you to help me understand it. If you find something interesting, the communicators still work. Till then, adios. Ciao, sayonara, a Wiedersehen. Maggie, it's against every rule of military action for an officer to be separated from his command. Boston, this isn't a military action. And you don't have a command. There's just you and me. And we both know exactly the same amount about this situation, which is to say, nada, nothing, zip. If we suddenly find ourselves facing an army, then you're in command again. Until then, adios, ciao, sayonara, a Wiedersehen. Nobody likes you when you smart off like that. Yeah, all my psychological tests as a kid said that I didn't work well with others. So this is what failure feels like. We're on our own. Be a good time to go ahead and save. It's a good save name. Yeah, I want to replace that shit. Alright, so anyways. Now we're all by ourselves. Let's go left here. Uh oh, a purple engraved rod. Let's take that. Another one of these engraved sticks. What are they? Wands? Batons? Bludgeons? Maybe some kind of handheld computer game. Fuck that. With my luck, it's a hand grenade. It's an alien... Ancient alien dildo. Let's go down the ramp. Oh, look at that zooming. It's way ahead of its time. It's hot here. And it's glowing down there. Ten to one, it's the power source for this place. All I need to do now is to find the light switch. Or the plug. Or the fuse box. Or whatever makes this thing work. An instruction manual might help. Maybe a map. And I could use a sandwich. And a hot jukebox and a cold beer. Woohoo! Or just a starship headed for home. Take the sandwich and the cold beer. Fuck home. Let's look down at that cool electric electricity again. There's some kind of unattached lens. I can see a lens way down at the bottom. No shit, so can I. panel. Oh, this is interesting. We've got all kinds of strangely shaped buttons here. All right, so we have five colored buttons and a backspace and a delete or erase. Ah. 
interesting. Looks like we have to get that diamond thing to get to the lens there. Let's go ahead and clear it. I'm gonna do purple, 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 five purples. Plug in five purples. After that, you want to do... Ah, oh, fuck. Five purples, two yellows, and a red. Let's try that out. everything there. Use the control panel again. Clear all the colors and this time we're going to do purple, 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 purple. Need to plug in a blue there. Another blue, another blue, another blue, another blue, and a red. Five purple, five blue, and a red. giving me a headache. Oh, another control panel. Dog balls. Alright, so let's take a look at our inventory here. With this purple engraved rod. Triangle, a blue diamond, kind of green circle, and a red diamond. So what you want to do is match the control panel up the same way. triangle now I need a blue diamond here I 
Then we want a green circle. Red dot. I hope this was a good idea. So what is through this door? A death trap? Probably. A mad scientist with a pretty girl and a talking robot? Maybe. An alien cafeteria? Who the fuck knows? Why am I just standing here? That's a good question. After all, as Brink found out, the worst thing that can happen is you can take one wrong step and you're dead. So much for the cafeteria idea. Boston, are you there? They use geometric shapes as a kind of combination for the locks. Boston, you won't believe where I am. I'm in a place filled with alien technology, the most fantastic things I've ever seen. And the machines are working. What are they doing? I don't know yet. I mean, they're really alien. Like nothing I've seen before. Don't go too fast, Maggie. I'll be careful, Boston. But it's not like we have time to use correct scientific procedures to test these things. Where are you? How can I get to you? I wish I knew. It's a sure thing you can't get here the way I did. I slid through a low tunnel in the rock, and then it kind of got filled with debris when the roof collapsed. You could have been killed. Gee, I guess this isn't safe. But if we'd been together, whoever went through the crack second would definitely have been killed. Keep that in mind when you're thinking about coming to save me. I handled it just fine. Yeah, I guess you did. We're both doing okay, Boston. We'll find a way to connect up with each other when it matters. Uh, Maggie? Good work. Thanks, Boston. Check out this weird thing. Whoa! It's a hamster ball! Let's get inside the giant hamster ball. Seems like the logical thing to do. Bed hamster felt like. Is that before or after you stuck him in your butthole? Of course, that's how Brink died. Hmm, interesting. The hell did that do?
Oh, the gigantic, crazy crystal thingy, majiggy. We'll explore more in the next video. So you best come back. Thanks for watching.